everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my first fall look of the season. Oh my God, fall is here. The year is going to be over soon. Yes, we are all ready for this 2020 to be over, right? <laughs> so without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so today I'm going to be using a lot of makeup that it's my favorite. Well, uh, today I'm not gonna use anything new. Everything that I am going to use during the video is products that I use all the time or that I have already in my collection and I have used a couple of times, but they're good and I want you guys to know about them. So let's start with prepping the skin. I always begin my videos with my skin prep, but this time I wanted to show you how I prep my skin and what I usually use. The first product that I always apply is my toner. The toner I used actually was the Fenty Fat Water Toner. I already applied it, that's the only thing that I was like, oh, I wanted to apply it from the camera, but I did already. You guys, if you, ha if you haven't seen my Fenty Beauty review, I'm going to link the video here and on top or in the description, you can find it too. I will suggest you see my video because I have a lot of mixed feelings about the products but the fat water is one of the products that I like the most. My skin is clean, I apply the fat water and now I'm going to moisturize. I'm not a really or a huge fan of primers so I always uh, prep my skin with moisturizers. Depending on the foundation I'm, gonna, I'm going to use then I use either a more like a more emollient uh, type of moisturizing but if I'm gonna use a very glowy or liquid uh, and not too uh, like it has a light coverage uh, type of foundation then I use something that is more lighter to the skin like a gel moisturizer or something like that so this time since the foundation I'm gonna be using is a matte foundation I want to prep my skin using the Wolita um, skin food. I'm going to be using the light cream because I have combination skin. Remember I also have a video about this cream. I reviewed both of them, the original and the light one. So I'm going to be linking here in the video the a review for this um, moisturizer and also you can find it in the description below. I'm going to be using a little bit like this. I always like um, rub my fingers so it gets a little bit hot so it gets more liquid and I'm going to apply it to the entire face as you can see it gives like a beautiful glow and it's going to match perfectly with my foundation when I use matte foundations I like to prep the skin with something that's very glowy and that will give me that shine from within so the foundation doesn't look so cakey or something and a cream that i don't i haven't talked about in my channel but i always use and you can see it's very well used is this one for my eyes i love it because it is really uh, emollient you know that i have uh, dry under eyes and this one is very nice for my under eyes it's the palmer cocoa butter formula you can find it in the drugstore it's a great eye cream and I like to apply a little bit of it so my skin is really moist for all the products okay this is all I'm gonna do to prep my skin now I'm gonna move to foundation I'm gonna do my skin first because um, the eye look that I'm planning to do is not gonna be nothing heavy I want a fall look but it's that's gonna be wearable so you guys can use it during the day or at night or for any event like it's going to be that versatile type of look that's why I'm gonna start with my skin uh, and I'm gonna be using I have a mix of drugstore and high-end brands but these brands are my favorite so I want you guys to know and if you have all these products then you can do this look uh, with me and this is uh, the matte poreless foundation from Maybelline this is a staple in in your kit if you like drugstore products this is one of the products that you should definitely have and I'm going to be using just a little bit I don't like to use a lot of foundation because I want my skin to look very natural 
and I'm gonna be using a brush for this and this foundation is beautiful it has a beautiful finish and it's just amazing so if you haven't tried it before run and get it because it's inexpensive and great it's a great foundation As you can see, I did like a sheer application, but you can definitely build this uh, foundation up if you want a really full coverage application, you can definitely build it up. But I just wanted like a skin-like finish for this look. Again, this is going to be more of an everyday type of fall look. Uh, I'll probably do a one, uh, one look later that it's more, you know, for night time or things like that. But right now, let's start easy. <laughs> okay, now for my under eyes, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Concealer. If you know uh, me and you follow me in my Instagram, I always use this concealer all the time in my looks. It's a beautiful concealer. I find it very full coverage and versatile. You can use this concealer as a foundation if you wanna do like a very everyday and easy look, and it's amazing. I like to mix two colors, the 15 and 13. Juvia's Place uh, did something that no other brands have done is the foundations and the concealers are backwards so in the in a regular brand you will find that the higher number will be the darkest concealers or foundation shades and in Juvia's Place she did it uh, backwards because she's a black owned brand and she wanted to give the black woman that power that the darkest color will be the first colors and then the, the higher you go in number is going to be lighter so that was interesting and I'm going to be using also a brush for this. And a little bit goes a long way because you see how much I apply, I apply of the product and I could cover my whole under eye and even take it a little bit under like lower to my cheeks to mix it with my foundation so it's amazing and i'm also gonna use this concealer as a base for my foundation i love this concealer it looks so natural and beautiful and it gives a glow you can see the glow under under your eyes that looks fresh and it pairs amazing with the foundation so love it to set my entire face i'm going to be using my trusty <laughs> wet and wow and it's the photo focus translucent powder and for this i'm going to be using a fluffy brush i'm gonna set my entire face because the rest of the products are going to be all powders. So we want to make sure that all creams are really set. I mean, this powder is one of the best powders from the drugstore. It gives like a bill and it feels like, um, like it's you feel like it's poreless, like you're poreless. <laughs> it, it looks beautiful in the skin. I really like it and it's very finely milled so you don't see like chunks of powder in your face or nothing like that and it's easy to apply both with sponges or with your brush like I did. So it's 100% recommend. And it's like $5, <laughs> it's super inexpensive. Next product I'm going to be using is the Maybelline City Bronzer. The color I use is 300. And this is also an amazing bronzer. I love it. 
I'm not gonna be contouring, but I'm going to be using my bronzer as a contour. If you think that you apply too much or something, just go back with your powder brush and just um, blend more. I think I applied too much in here, so I'm going to go back with my powder brush and just blend it out. This, this browser is so easy to blend out. Do your neck. Let me go back with my powder brush without any powder. I'm just going to use it to blend further. Okay, that's all I'm going to apply. And I'm going to leave blush and highlighter to the end because I want to do my eyes first and then I'm going to choose what blush color I want and highlighter. For now, I'm going to stop with the face and I'm going to start with the eyes. And for the eyes, I'm going to be using this palette from Tarte. Tarte is Pro Palette. That's the only shade I guess they have for the palette. These are the colors. You can see they're beautiful, uh, very muted, and perfect for fall. Let's start with the crease color, and I'm going to choose for the crease color, I'm going to choose the shade Whimsy. They're super pigmented, look at that. Oh my God. And they blend like butter. They're blend so easy look like I apply a lot of color but then I started to blend it out and it blend easily and the next color I'm going to be using I'm going to take a smaller blending brush And I'm going to take the shade Mood, which is like a berry type of color. And I'm gonna intensify here. Like the outer part of the, of the eye. I'm going to apply it there. And making sure that I extend it a little bit because I wanna get that cat eye illusion so I'm extending it a little bit here the last shade I actually want to do like a oh. I want to use the uh, shadow as I'm doing a cock crease but not really doing a cock crease <laughs> And I'm going to use the shade Bold for the inner part of the lid with a flat brush. And I'm going to be doing this. I think this is not... You know what? I'm going to move to Classic. Better. I think it's going to show better with the mold. So this is going to create the illusion like I'm cutting the crease but not really. flat brush but more fluffy than this one and with the same shade I'm just going to stamp the color the fluffy brush I was using before just to blend the top of the cut crease that we created Let's do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, now that I that we did that, it's looking so beautiful. I'm going to be doing the bottom lid, and for that, 
I'm going to use a flat brush. Let's use this one, it's very fluffy. And I'm going to take the shade uh, Whimsy again. Let's take that one again. And I'm going to uh, be buffing it out here in the outer part, making sure that we connect it to the top. And with the smaller brush that we were using before, I'm going to take the shade Drama. And what I'm going to do is, this is like a darker uh, berry color. I'm going to apply it only in the outer part, but connecting both the bottom lid and the top lid together. And just stamping it like this. And you see that it's going to give like dimension there. And it's going to give that illusion that there is like a dark, smoky, uh, situation going on there. <laughs> Let me take my concealer brush and just clean out here. That's something that's a tip that I always have for everyone. Use your concealer brush to clean out your eyeshadow so you can have the shape you're looking for. And the concealer brush, because it has a little bit of product, it, it's going to remove any extra shadow that you have there or it's going to help you like erase any mistakes. I don't think I'm gonna be using any shimmers. I love how it's looking all matte. Let's do the inner part and I'm going to apply, yeah. With a pencil brush, I'm going to be using the same shade I use for the cut crease, which is classic. And I'm going to apply it here. Yeah, I'm not gonna use any shimmers. I'm going to leave it all matte because I like how it is looking. So we're gonna do that. Let me just make sure that it's blended here very nicely. And we move to the rest of the face. Let's just leave it like that. And I'm going to be doing my mascara. Let me just curl my lashes very quick. And for mascara, I'm going to be using my Cosas mascara. You guys saw this. Uh, I got it on my first haul that I did for the channel. If you haven't seen it, Go check it out. I'm going to link it below. I mean above <laughs> and also below in the description so you can check it out. This mascara is amazing. It's beautiful. It gives a lot of volume. And I don't mind uh, when well, mascara is a little bit clumpy. This one is a little bit clumpy, but I love it because uh, I actually love that look. It looks very editorial for me. But not everybody likes clumpy mascara, but I'm all about it. Since I want the look to be like an everyday type of look, I don't want to use any lashes. I'm going to leave it like that without lashes because I love how the eyes are looking. So simple, easy, and you know, something that you can use every day. But you can definitely rock lashes with this look if you want to. I'm going to move to my brows <laughs> and I'm going to be doing a... And I'm going to be using this pen from Billion Dollar Brows. This is like a microblading uh, pen that they sent me and I love it. It's so easy to use and when you wanna do your uh, brows and you want them to look very natural, this pen is amazing for that. Uh, okay, here's my spoolie. I was looking for my spoolie. Let me just brush them up. And I'm gonna show you how I do it so they look natural. So I take the pen 
and whenever I see that I have like uh, little holes in my brows I just take the pen and just do it as this pen was a spoolie so I just brush it up like this and it will create like the illusion that there's more hairs So you can see the difference between this brow that I did and this one. You can see the holes and everything in between the brows. But this one, even though I filled it out, it looks very natural. It doesn't look like I drew the whole uh, brow with the pen. It looks like I have a lot of hair. So that's what I love about this. And the color is very soft. That's going, it's not going to look very saturated because the color is, is like shadow, it's like hair shadow. I like to, uh, the tail of the brow, always to put it like down because my brow hairs are very long. And sometimes when they're all up, it looks very messy, <laughs> which I don't mind. But for an everyday look, I mean, that that look with the hairs all up is very editorial. So it's like if I want to take pictures or something like that, it's going to be amazing. But if I go out like this, people are going to be looking at me like, hmm. <laughs> what happened with her brows? <laughs> Perfect. So you can see it's very natural. They look very nice and very soft for the look. What's that's something that I'm looking for because the look is very soft. Let's finish our face. So I'm going to be using Alamar's uh, blush and I have the shade Medium Tan. And I'm going to be using a combination with of Isla and Seclusion. And I like to apply my blush a little bit on the top of my cheeks and towards the side more like in my cheekbone because it helps lift the face so you want always your makeup to uh, the face makeup to to lift your face so you look younger and more awake so everything when you apply your contour or bronzer try to apply them a little bit over or almost on top of your cheekbone so it's going to give that effect that you're lifting your face. And it looks more natural in my opinion, also. Whenever it's left on the brush, I like to do this. So I look like I have a little of sunburn. <laughs> and as the highlighter, I'm going to be using this highlighter from Jaclyn Hill. This is the, the Flare palette. I have to be very careful because they're very potent. So I'm going to be using this one, the Glow Up. And I'm going to take a very tiny bit of it and only place it in the highest point of, points of my cheeks just to give that natural glow. But very subtle because they are very, very glowy like a little bit goes super long way <laughs> you can see how it glows very nicely I love it actually this year is when I tried them out because I don't know why I didn't try them before <laughs> but I saw them and I fell in love with them they're super nice and you have a lot of products that are going to last you forever. Mm -hmm. A little bit of my, I like to do it here in my, in the top of my nose bridge. And look at that glow, it's beautiful. And I just put a tiny, 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 tiny bit. And you can see how it's glowing already. I like to mix. I'm, I'm applying a little bit of. Maya, Maya look, <laughs> just to give a little bit of gold reflect to it, 
yeah need to stop <laughs> and now let's finish uh, with our lips and for lips I'm going to be using two of my favorite products that I discovered this year also this is the lip liner from Il Maquillage and the shade is Spice and also the Bodyography uh, lipstick in chiffon this is going to help warm up the shade of the lipstick because the lipstick is a little bit pale and this is going to help give that warm effect around the mouth they smell delicious, like my like citrus. And they're super comfortable, even though they're matte, they're super comfortable. They have like a velvet, velvet type of finish, and they feel super comfortable on the, on the lips. You always know that I apply gloss because I don't like matte finished products but once I used this one I fell in love with it it's super nice it looks gorgeous and it looks beautiful with the eyes and the whole look and let's make sure that we are okay yeah so this is the final look and uh, this is a very subtle and beautiful fall look for everyday use you can use this for an event you can use this for a date you can use this even for a wedding this is a very subtle look it's going to look amazing in everyone so i hope you guys like this video if you like it just give me thumbs up don't forget to share with your friends subscribe to my channel of course hit the ring bell because i'm going to be sharing with you a lot of um, tutorials, makeup and favorites because fall season is going to be the season for us to wrap up the year and make sure that we all know about our favorites of the year. So that's going to come up soon. And what else? That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye. Yo. Yo!